Hey folks, this is going to be a lesson on Frank Zappa's Echidna's Arf of You. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Echidna, I'm not sure. If, uh, like, like everything about this song, it's quite complicated, even just the name. This is one of the most difficult songs I've ever learned in my career. Attempted to perform it once, it went okay. Definitely not giving up on it, but it's one of the most challenging and hard to play songs out there. Not for the faint of heart, not for the beginner type thing, but here goes Echidna's Arf of You, Frank Zappa. Now our first riff is going to be an E major chord to part of an F sharp chord. You can do the whole chord if you want, but I'm going to do this 4-3-2 in here. 4 on the D, 3 on the G string, 2 on the B string. We're going to do bass, bass, and then a chord. That's your F sharp chord. So I'm just muting up here. And you want to mute those strings, the ones that you're not playing with other fingers and stuff. So that goes like four times. If you wanted to add something into that, you could put in a little. That's just a little E note on the D string, second fret. Would be the very last thing before that new measure if you wanted to add that. Or you just play it straight and simple. Now riff two over that 4-4 four, four riff of those two chords is going to go. So let's look at that. Now get used to this pattern here because there's going to be a lot of this kind of like a major third, but going to like a raised fourth, kind of like a Lydian mode type thing. So six, seven, six, eight, nine, eight, six. Then we're going to go. So that's that nine on the fifth string. Down to the six here. Okay, so we're going to do that, easy enough. Then we're going to jump down a string. So it kind of starts the same. Six, seven, six, eight, nine, eight, six, nine. Then we're going to jump to a new thing here. So that is an 11 note phrase that is going to repeat over the next several bars and end up finishing on the one of a new measure eventually. So it's really puts everything feeling off kilter, even though it's still just a 4-4 four, four type of a feel. So we got, here goes that next riff there. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So you can kind of remember how that riff goes, and it's going to be four sets of that. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm going to try to do that four times in a row. G sharp, ninth fret, second string. Here goes that full riff. back into that. So we kind of come in, you could come back to that rhythm there, it's kind of like halfway through that first measure, but it would be four more measures of that, just like it was in the beginning. So let's do a little review of the whole beginning part. Three, four. Next part. This is going to be 8 and 6 on the G string. So 8, 6, 8, 6 on the B. So you're going to do 
that twice. So this is going to be 13th fret, this is going to be a measure of 21 16. So those last two are not fast like the others are, so. Okay, so that was 21 things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then the last two are worth two each, and that gets you to 21. Then we're going to go back to this other riff. Now here we have a key change, so you're going to jump to that B flat note right there. And that B flat note is the high note of this A flat minor 6 chord. So we got four, six, and fours, all the way down to six at the bottom. So that six is also this 11 over here. So we kind of change keys for a little four bar solo right there. So let's look at that high part again. So let's look at those notes. 13, 14, 13, 15, 16. So you see how it goes down that scale. So the notes of the scale are So whenever that one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five thing happens, it's always four sets in a row and then you move on to the next thing. So let's look at that solo there. So he'd be in like A flat minor at this point. And you could look at the notes of kind of like an A minor pentatonic, A flat minor pentatonic scale. Of course, you can always use a two in that scale also. Maybe the six you might stay away from. Whatever it might be there. So basically you're looking at an A flat minor nine. Then we're moving on to the next part. Okay, so that one is in 13, 16. So it's one, two, one, three, four, three, one, two, one, two, one, oh. And then the other instrument plays that in the same time right after that, like a like a echo, like a repeat. Now our next one is gonna be so that was four in the D string. Four, oh, four, one, two, one, four, two. Da 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 So that first one was in thirteen sixteen, and the next one is in nine sixteen. Da 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 da. Now here we're going to hit like D7 chord. You could just hit this 5, 7, 5 up top, or you could hit that whole D7 chord if you like. So let's look at the whole part again. D7. Okay, then we're going to move on to the next part. So our next part is in 6-8. It's going to start on the 12th fret of the D string. 12, 11, 9, 12, 10 on the A to the 9 down here on the D again. And then 9 on the A, 12 on the big E. So that's in 6, 8. 1 E and then 2 E and 3. So here goes a tricky one up top here. 
you almost want to get your first finger to get these three strings, the A all the way down to the G. Because you have different sets of things. So that's 14 to 16 on the G to the 15 on the B. And that one's a pull off on the G string, 16 to 14 to 16 on the D. So these little sets of tr threes kind of, but they're not like triplets, but they're like. So you got 14, 16 to 15, and then 16, 14 to 16, and then 14, 16, 14. And then ends with, and that's just the B note there on the 14th fret A string to its octave down here. Okay, so that's that part. Now our next part is gonna start here with the pinky on the ninth fret of the G string. So nine, eight, six, nine, seven, six, six. So you got your one riff, then you're gonna do it again. But instead of ending on that note, you're gonna go. So that's a six, seven on the D down to the six here on the G. So that's gonna go four times. Then our next part is gonna go down here to the seventh fret of the G string. So, seven, six, four, seven, five, four, four, to the seven on the A. Then we have. So we had nine, seven, seven, nine, seven. And then we got a little riff here at the end. Seven, ten, seven, nine, seven, nine. Or you can go down here. C sharp down here, so you go one two one two one two one two one two one two bomb, and that's three on the G string, two five two on the B string. So you got six six six. six. and you can do that riff twice. third time it's going to have a different ending. So we got three, two, 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 oh, two, four. Let's look at what's happening with the second guitar when we're doing that six, six thing. So at the same time that is happening, we got a riff going one, two, three, four, Five, 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 one, two, three, four, five. So I find it easier to kind of do it with fingers, but this is a tough riff. I haven't really tried that on stage or anything. So it's five, six, seven, seven, and then nine. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. So you go one, two, three, four, five, and then back. And you're gonna do that three times. And then after the third time of going up and down, you're gonna hit the chord. Five, six, seven, nine. And that puts you back to that. Two, five, 
my two. Now we're going to have that third one that has a different ending. So that's going to be four, five, two, five, two, four, two. Now we have a little ending to that. And then we got. So that was two to four on the D to the two on the G. And that's two and two on the big two strings. So we got. chord and the chords here are like one and one and we have back to those sixes remember the other part and that was and then the third one's gonna have that different ending Another step. One and so that was A chord, B chord, and C sharp chord. So one and, one and. then we start the final five time thing that's gonna finish off the song here. And if you use the this this just takes the same thing, same type of fingering thing. So you have the same thing each time. So if you get used to a down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. First we're going to start on the 7 of the A string. We go down to the low string there. 7, 7, 7, 9, 10. Then we're going to jump down a string to the 8. And then down a string to the 7. Down a string to the 8. And then down a string to the 7. And then eight in the same string. And then nine on the second string. And ten on the second string. So let's look at all that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's take that nice and slow. So that's gonna be all fives too. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so a bunch of sets of fives. We got 12, 10, 13, 12, 10, 12, 10, 9, 7, 10, 9, 7, 10, 9, 10, 8, 7. 10, 8, 7, 8, 10, so. Then we start back with that other riff. And then we have the last part here. So this is a really tricky one, so we got 7, 7, D to A string there. And that was a 9 on the D to a 10 and 10 on the A to D. So that was 7 on the G, 8 on the B. So we got... 
So then we get into a repeating pattern that goes over these fives and is not in fives. So it's real tricky, but on a guitar, if you just stick to the pattern, you play like through all those new downbeats without even worrying about it and you catch up at the end. So it's like. So one more time on that, we got seven, seven, nine, ten, ten. And then we got seven, eight, eight, seven, eight. Then we start into a new thing. So we got five, five, seven, seven. So I put in, it's almost like a sus chord thing. Then you go up to that high note. So the whole pattern is like five, five, seven, seven, five, five, ten, nine, ten, five, five, seven, seven, five, five. And then we move up to this ten, nine, ten, seven. And then we're gonna do the same thing here on the seventh fret. And on this one, we get the thirteenth fret. We go. That's your pattern. And even though it's not just set in the fives and it moves around a little bit. Okay, we got those little 13s there. We're gonna do that four times. Bum, 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 bum. Then we go back to this descending riff all in fives. We go back to the. Then we go to that more tricky one. That last one you go 15 15 bump 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 bump. Okay, so let me take the whole ending of the fives thing. One, two, three, four, five. Descending riff again. All right, y'all, hope you dug that. A Chidna's Arf of You, Frank Zappa, Roxy and Elsewhere. One of the great albums of all time. One of my favorites. Frank Zappa, also one of my favorites. Check out the shirt. I think this is from like Zappa Nall or one of those things. Anyhow, uh, much love, y'all. Thanks for liking and subscribing. And appreciate you. Let, let me know if you've got any uh, requests of some Frank Zappa. I'll try to keep going. Thanks a lot. I'm Damon Wood. Peace out.